everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, Bonnie, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, Bonnie, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Emma, how's it going today? Oh, what, Auntie? Did you say something to me? I said, how's it going today? What, Auntie? Okay, Emma, what's going on? Well, Auntie, for some reason, I can't hear very well out of this ear. So it was kind of hard to hear you. Really, Emma? Do you have any pain, cough, congestion, fevers? No, 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 and no to all your questions. Hmm, I think I may know what's going on, but first we have to look in your ear with my otoscope. Okay, Auntie, will, will that hurt? Nope, just a little tickle. Okay, Auntie, sounds good. All right, Emma, go ahead and have a seat and I'll come over with my otoscope. Okay, you got it. All right, come over here and get the otoscope. suspected. What? What is it, Auntie? Well, Emma, you are suffering from a cerumen impaction. Uh, a cerua what, Auntie? <laughs> cerumen is the doctor term for earwax, and impaction means packed in. So, you have so much wax, Miss Emma, all packed in your tiny little ear, which makes it hard to hear. This is called a cerumen impaction. What, what did you say, Auntie? <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, okay, so I have a ton of wax? Wait, ew, gross, Auntie. Auntie, how did this happen? Why do I have so much wax? Well, Emma, to understand why you have a wax buildup, let's first understand what is earwax and why our ears make it. Great, Auntie, let's hear it. <laughs> Did you get it? Hear it? Good one, Emma. Okay, so earwax is a sticky yellow brown substance made by glands in the ear canal. It has many important jobs. Number one, it protects and moisturizes the skin that lines our ear canal, keeping it from getting too dry and itchy. Number two, it contains special chemicals that help us fight off infections and keep them from getting into our ear. And number three, it acts as a protective waxy shield to keep things from the outside world from hurting the delicate eardrum in our ears. You see, the ear is made up of three main parts, the outer, middle, and inner ear. The outer ear is made up of the ear canal. The middle ear contains the tympanic membrane, also called, drum roll please, the eardrum. And the inner ear is made up of nerves that travel to the brain to help us hear and keep us balanced. Basically, the wax keeps objects like dust, dirt, or any other silly little thing we might stick up in our ears from hurting our very important middle and inner ears. Wow, Auntie, who knew something as gross as wax was so important? So, Auntie, if I have a lot of wax, should I be cleaning my ears? Actually, Emma, wax is so important that no cleaning of your ears is needed. In fact, ears are self-cleaning. And as I said before, our wax is very important. So we don't want to be removing it unless it becomes blocked or a cerumen impaction like you, Miss Emma. Got it, Auntie. Hmm, a cerumen impaction kind of sounds scary, Auntie. Not so scary, Emma. There are a few reasons wax buildup can happen. Number one, some people just make a lot of earwax. 
Number two, some people have a normal amount of wax, but it gets very dry, making it easier to build up like a hard plug in your ear. Number three, some people have a narrow ear canal, so if the canal is not wide, wax can get more stuck easily. Number four, some people stick a lot of things in their ears. So putting things in our ears, like maybe inner earbuds or headphones to listen to music or Q-tips can push more wax up into the ear, causing a blockage. And finally, the fifth reason of packed wax is as we get older, our wax tends to get more dry. So elderly patients like our grandma or grandpa, for example, may be more likely to have earwax buildup than others. Caught it, Auntie. So, Auntie, what do we do? How do I get this earwax out of my ear so I can hear again? Well, we are going to flush it out, Emma. What, Auntie? Really? Yep, we take a bunch of warm water and gently push it up the ear canal, and out comes the wax. But this must be done by a doctor or a nurse, because if you do it at home and push the water too hard, it can put way too much pressure on your eardrum and it can burst. Oh no, Auntie! Yep, so if you think you have wax filled up again, you have to make a doctor's appointment so we can take a look and clean it out. We can also use drops or oils that help dissolve the wax over time. This may take a couple days to start working, but it can also work if we don't want to use the water. Got it, Auntie! Okay, Emma, let's clean out the ear. All right, Auntie, let's do it. Okay, Emma, so first you're gonna lay down. All right, tilt your head. Good, okay, get some water. Suck in the water, almost like a squirt gun. And then we're gonna clean it out. <laughs> that tickles, Auntie. Get some more and suck it out. All right, perfect. Okay. All right, I think we got it. Yes, great. Okay, let me put all this down. Let's put this away. All right, Emma, how do you feel now? Wow. I can already hear way better. Great, Emma. All right, Auntie, let's go outside and have a dance party now that I can hear music again. All right, let's do it. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah. We can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.